Oh yeah. I, I, I've got some music playing in the background really lightly, but it's the Pina Colada song from Rupert Holmes. Remember that one? Uh, if, if, you, if you're too young to know that song, um, really honestly, Rupert Holmes, Pina Colada song. Just go to YouTube and great story, great lyrics. It's absolutely hilarious. It's really cool. It's really funny. Um, anyways, thank you guys very much for being here. My name is David Boozer, and uh, uh, I'm just a <laughs> an old guy working from home. Um, uh, at least somewhat normal. You know, actually, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's going to be another change here shortly to uh, the Google algorithm uh, for a lot of you business owners online, um, a lot of especially affiliate marketers, network marketers, people who uh, um, have been really kind of just doing a lot of crazy stuff out here. I know you, maybe some of you are buying a lot of those different types of, uh, um, quote, guru products and services and things like that. Um, these types of things for so long has been the one major thing that uh, Google has actually been battling against, those secret softwares and secret magic tricks to generating, you know, massive traffic online and money. <laughs> um, tell you the truth, guys, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I am nobody special. I am just an average guy here. I live in the beautiful Pacific Northwest with my family. Um, I have actually been doing online marketing, uh, search engine marketing and everything else for the better part of over three years, I believe, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, over 40,000 subscribers later, uh, it, it is, is an absolutely wonderful thing. But the thing is, is that I always practiced the fundamentals. I always went through and did the one thing that I knew um, and that I was taught was going to be the best route for success. You know, with all of these different kinds of, you know, so-called secrets and ninjas, Track, traffic things, uh, <laughs> the best thing uh, in the world that you could possibly do is actually uh, the fundamentals, which is creating really good content and content that, that converts. Now, I'm not saying really good content in the fact that you have to be some sort of you know spectacular writer that if you created a blog and wrote a post, all of a sudden the New York Times is beating down your door. Uh, no, uh, what I'm saying is that <clears throat> by making it media rich, by making it uh, rich and full of good content, content that makes sense to people, um, you know, I've always told people, I was like, forget all the secrets, forget all these magic buttons and magic landing pages and everything else, just go about creating information based around your niche, your business, your products, your services, um, just create the information, give people a real answer to the, to the question. I mean, if you really, really think about it, you want to know the secret to internet marketing. Um, <laughs> think of it like this. The search engines are there to do what? <clears throat> Give the best answer to the query or the question that's asked. So what would be your job in that scenario? Exactly. To create the best possible answer you can for the individual searching. The search engines don't buy our products, join our opportunities, uh, you know, click on our AdWords and, and advertising and, and all of this. They don't do that. What they do is they look for just a couple things here, guys. Relevance and popularity. As a matter of fact, uh, for a long time, people using backlinks and things like that is a major part of gaining that popularity. A lot of SEO companies, um, some of the reasons that, uh, that, you know, a lot of businesses out there were getting ranked so high is because they create some cheap, cheesy little piece of content. But what would they do is they would slap a piece of software on it that went bam, 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 backlink, backlink, backlink. Uh, those backlinks are in the next 24 to 48 hours going to be demoted. I'm sorry to tell you, but they are, uh, which means you could lose your presence, period. <laughs> you won't even find yourself at the end of 13,000 searches. Um, so that could really be detrimental to you. So the best thing to do is, like I tell people, Build and brand and manage your own business online. Uh, one of the things that uh, is going to happen now, and this is not a secret, this is not, uh, you know, crazy. Matt Cuts from Google actually said it himself. Basically, they're going to put a little more importance on the linking structure as far as um, uh, uh, what would you call uh, the social, uh, social metrics and uh, um, that type of thing. So, you know, people retweeting your stuff, people liking your stuff, people Google Plusing your stuff, people going out and digging and deliciousing your stuff. That's going to be up there, especially with the social metrics, uh, some of your main players, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, um, those types of places. Bookmarking, of course, dig delicious, all those kinds of places. That's still really good. 
Um, but the whole magic secret behind that one is not to do it everywhere at once. <laughs> All those little crazy secret softwares to getting a bajillion backlinks from bookmarks can hurt you. I actually had a website that got hurt by that and I still haven't brought it back from the dead, even today, months and months later. Um, but all my other websites, for some reason, I was like, well, how come all these other websites are doing so well, even after the two major changes that happened this year with Google? And I looked at it and I said, this simply has content. It has content. People are staying on the site longer. Why are they staying on the site longer? A couple of simple little strategies, guys. First off is to actually create good content. You know, this is, uh, this is my blog. <laughs> You know, and I've got my title, I've got my content, I've got a little video here, I've got some more content, I've got an image right here, put an image right there, I've got some more content. I only keep like maybe three to four links within this piece of content at any given time. And usually this is actual, um, to tell you the truth, this is actually uh, contextual navigation only. Maybe one link going outside to something that I find valuable or important to actually click to. Um, but usually it's just for contextual navigation, which means I'm just going to take them to another page or blog post or something with inside my blog or my website. So this is the kind of thing, guys. These are the magic tricks right here. The magic trick in the secrets to internet marketing. I'm sorry. Uh, if you don't agree with me, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just another voice out here. I'm just a guy who, you know, uh, does his thing. Um, you know, the magic secret out here uh, is really just getting in there and building and branding and managing your own business and learning how to create good content, content that converts, how to follow up through good email marketing campaigns and newsletters and such. Um, just really doing that. It is really not that complicated. <laughs> it is going to take a little bit more time. You know, Google's aim is to give the best and most relevant answer. And the thing is, is that uh, social signals are going to be um, part of that now. Uh, as a matter of fact, how long people stay on your site? Uh, what are they doing with this when they find it in social media? What are they doing with it on with social media on that website? You know, these are the types of things that Google's going to look at. So, you know, when it comes down to all this internet marketing secrets and s stuff like that, and you see that junk in your email, just leave it alone from now on. Leave it alone. There are no real secrets here. As a matter of fact, I have a complete free online marketing training course. It's absolutely free. It teaches you everything about the fundamentals and how to actually use them. But the thing is, is guys, I mean, in all honesty, you could, f if you're a newbie, it's, it's difficult to do this. I mean, you'd be able to find this information online for free anyways. Why people are charging you secret, you know, money for these secrets, I have no idea. That's why you give them away for free, just to help people. So to get them out there and get them building and branding and managing a business online. Because that's the whole secret. It's creating content. That's where Google's coming from. They're going to make you work for it. They're going to make you earn it. You're going to have to earn your spot here. You have to earn your traffic for a change. Period. Anyways, that's the magic secret, guys. That it takes work and it takes effort. But it doesn't take as long as it used to for tra <laughs> in traditional marketing arena. Things can go viral. Things can move a lot faster. Period. You just have to learn to create that content and that information that people want. Anyways, thank you guys very much, no matter what. God bless.